Hi guys, this is Maria. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be sharing with you a few series of books that I find very useful for preschoolers. If you ever listen to any TED Talks or any kind of information on what is important for children in the 21st century, one of the number one things that comes up is always self-regulation. I'm not going to go into much detail on that in this video, but I'll share a few books that help your children to label their feelings, understand how to deal with them, and give you opportunity to talk to them and use the language that is helpful in that uh, situations when a child needs to learn certain what behaviors are appropriate, what behaviors aren't, and how to handle them. Also, I will share a few books that uh, go in a very good explanation, in my opinion, of history, science, uh, and all that, and some of them are just really, really fun books. All right, so let's get to it. I will start with a series made by uh, a British writer, Aliki, and the first book, I actually shared this one when I first started homeschooling the kids, is Manners, because I wanted to set expectations in our classroom, and the kids love this book. The way it is written and drawn, it's like, it's it talks to children in such a way that they really understand it, and uh, a good thing that came out of this book, it kind of goes over what manners are, and manners are basically feelings. So if you have good manners, it means you care about the others and other people's feelings. So it tells you about different behaviors, table manners, uh, what's appropriate to say, what's not appropriate to say, how to behave, how to listen well, and uh, the kids, both of mine, and I don't think I mentioned it in this video, but I have a three-year-old and a five-year-old, find this relates to them and it gave me an ability to use a really good language when we have any kind of situations at the house. Let's say uh, one of them is snatching the other. I'm like, do you think it is good manners? I don't think you use good manners in this case. And for whatever reason, both of my children really respond to it. Um, a lot of children will want to please you because they crave their, your love. So I think that reading this book and getting the language from this book is really helpful when you talk to them. Now, I uh, shared this book again once in my vlogs before, and I wanna share the other one that I just purchased, and it's gonna, I did not share it with the kids yet. But this is the same author, and it's about feelings. And I think this books, I honestly, are for a bit older children, like two-year-olds probably won't respond to it because there's a lot of complex language and examples. So I think that maybe three and up, you know, like the preschool age group, which that's where my children are, will, will do great with this books. I find them very like, what's scared is a scary story. Um, different kind of emotions, how they come into people, there is poems and stuff. So again, if you have a preschooler in your homeschool environment, this series of books are great. And then another one, actually this, Scarlett is getting this one for Christmas. I have good night yoga and we do yoga, we do meditation, we do breathing with our children and it's part of self-regulation. Instead of using um, distraction or like redirection of their attention, I a lot of the times actually talk through the process with them and I learn them to teach them to breathe. Justin does lots of breathing methods because we, we believe in teaching our children control of their emotions versus just, you know, replace it with something. So yoga is great for young children and we have good night yoga book and this is good morning yoga book and Scarlett really loves them. I also shared yoga bug book in my stocking stuffers video. This ones are amazing. They're so fun, have great poses. Children really enjoy it and it comes with a cool story. So I think Scarlett will be excited to open it up and she likes yoga period. A lot of young children do. The next uh, series of books I want to share in this video are by Ruth Heller and her books are beautifully made and they also, similar to Aliki, it goes into this explanation of things to children, not kind of, I don't want to say it in this way, but it doesn't dumb it down. It uses very rich language, but children understand at the same time, so it expands your child vocabulary. So one of the first books you might want to introduce by Ruth Heller to your children is How to Hide the Butterfly. This book is a big hit with toddlers starting the age of two, and it also goes over how the animals camouflage in nature. So like the butterfly here hides, it, hides its wings and disappears, and then you have to find it. Both of my children really enjoy this book as well. I've got it for Easter one of the years. It was in the Easter basket. Then the other one we have also came from the same um, Easter. 
also by Denise Baskets. It's Explore Science series by her, and it's the reason for a flower. And it goes over how the flowers, how the pollen uh, makes a flower, what comes from the flowers, what kind of objects are, some what uh, flowers are carnivorous. So it goes into lots of detail with beautiful illustrations. The children just are fascinated by this book. So because my children love them so much, I'm adding two new ones that they have not seen yet. One of them is chickens aren't the only ones and it's everybody who comes from eggs and Justin is getting this one because he is loves, so in his opinion, everybody comes from eggs. And that's not true as we all know, but there you go. It's gonna go over all the animals that lay the eggs and make their babies in the eggs. And then uh, I have another one to go with it to explain the whole concept to him. Animals born alive and well. So this is about animals that actually don't come from eggs. Kind of going with the same concept. And it's also Explore Science series. Ruth Heller also has the books on exploring the language and expanding the vocabulary of kids in a fun and beautiful way. So I'm getting this one for Scarlett. It's called the Ekashe of Jewels and other collective nouns. So it goes over different things like uh, a kindle of kittens and a pod of peas. And it goes over all collective nouns. And it's again, beautifully done. And there is several books in this series as well that will help you. Like there is adjectives, ad adjectives book and other books that will expand your child's vocabulary in a fun and beautiful way. So they, and by the way, these books aren't necessarily only for homeschooling. Um, I've had them even prior when the kids were just, you know, going to school and we would read them. Kids love them because they're beautifully done and really uh, interesting. So an army of ants. I uh, really recommend looking into the whole series. I have two more books to share and both are by Aliki. And the first one is, I actually plan to give it also as gifts, but Scarlett found them prior, so I already gave them out. Both children are uh, doing music lessons right now. Scarlett is playing the violin and Justin is doing uh, piano. So I decided to get Scarlett specifically for violin this book about music. So if you're planning to get your child into music or you're starting the lessons, it's a great book. I mean, I've learned so much from it because it goes over what kind of instruments in the orchestra, music as a creative art, what, how do people write music, what is speech and tone. I, I had no idea about many of those things. So when we read it, I was like, wow. So it explains again on the child's level, but with a very rich language about different things that make up music. It also has the timeline of, this is definitely kindergarten level and up, uh, younger children will not see through it for sure. But then there is also this part here, all kinds of music and that music and dance are connected. So we listen to all of this. Like I asked Alexa to play us Cossack dance and all kinds of diff con con. So we could hear as we were looking at the pages and it made for such a great family time. So again, if you are introducing music to your child, I would like bundle it up with this. There's other books that gear to, towards the interest as well. So you could just look into series and see if you can find something for yourself. And for Justin, I got my visit to the dinosaurs. And again, it just goes into explanation of who is a paleontologist, how the paleontologists work, how do the fossils form. This book is great for young boys, three and up, maybe even two and up. Some two, year, two and a half year olds will listen through this, especially if they love dinosaurs has very great text and gives your child, expands your child vocabulary as well. And uh, they also have, I believe, a trip to the zoo. If your child likes like zoo animals and stuff, I think a farm. So there's also uh, books in this series that cover different interests for children. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it uh, got your wheel spinning on some additional small gifts you can add to the Christmas gifts or put it in the Easter baskets or just as an addition to your homeschool environment or if you just enjoy reading with your children. All those books are great. Um, I filmed a similar video about a year ago, I believe, where I went through a big chunk of our book collection. We own many books, we love reading now household. So if you wanna check it out, it will be linked on the screen. If you love this video, make sure to give me a like, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you later.